I'm a chef by day and at night I turn into an art superhero. So that's kind of my thing. <laughs> I feel like food's not good unless it, it speaks to you. It's similar to art as well as anything in life. Like unless it really speaks to you and stops you in your tracks to be like, I need to really just be open to what it is that I'm looking at and how it's affecting me, whether it's my mood, my energy, whatever I'm going through, it plays a huge part in that. So I feel like food and art, it's one and the same, but it's so universal. Uh, these are universal languages and being able to learn how to talk in those in turn makes the person universal uh, no matter where you go in the world. Any passion in life is that it's not gonna happen when you want it to. You know, Rome wasn't built in a day, but as long as you stay dedicated and keep hustling and stay true to what it is you believe in, then there's nothing that's gonna stop you. No matter how long it takes, you'll get there. You just gotta never give up and believe in yourself. And I feel that The Shape of Blackness really touched upon opening up, allowing me to feel my emotion for the sake of feeling my emotion, uh, and being able to create in a wholesome, you know, genuine place. And The Shape of Blackness really made me just take a look in the mirror and say, you know, what is blackness? What is it to me? Because um, we got Black History Month, which is a month, but we're black history every day, 365 days a year. And that means a lot more than, you know, what we give credit to it. So I feel that The Shape of Blackness was one of those uh, beacons in the sky, you know, it's all like, nah, pay attention because you're now a part of this. Everything I feel like I do in terms with The Shape of Blackness is a part of history, a part of our history that we decide what we're gonna make and how we're gonna influence the next generation.